Ladies and gentlemen, I am Shritit and I am here to present a team's project medicine, automated medication kit. We will start by identifying the problem statement. How many of you have have observed the grandparents miss their medications or have problems in reading the prescriptions to identify which pill to take? This leads to the problem of medication non adherence which is basically inability to stick to your medication schedule. Statistics show that even in developed countries, this is a major problem. So, in countries like India, especially the rural regions, the situation is even worse. A team decided to develop a solution to tackle this problem, keeping rural India in mind. The rural settings require a solution with minimum requirement of memory, ability to read, and more importantly, comfort with technology and purchasing power of the people. Literature research shows that solutions do exist for this problem, which we broadly classified into one software based solutions, which are basically applications on mobile based platforms, and hardware based solutions, like the one pill dispenser shown in this image. Software based solutions cannot be in general used uh, in rural areas due to the limited access of technology with people. Hardware based solutions are very expensive in general and are not available in the Indian market as we speak. So, as a result, we introduce medicines. Medicines are designed keeping rural India in mind, that is, assuming old age and illiteracy in the patients. The concept of medicines has two major components one, the medicines box, and two, the user tag. The medicines box consists of compartments in which the medications are to be kept, one type of medication in one compartment, and the user tag is a wearable device to be kept by the user and which is used to remind the user that the time has come to take the pills. The concept of medicine assumes the presence of a caretaker, which I will define in the next slide. Here I have a concept diagram of the medicine box. You can, see, you can see that there are a number of compartments in which the pills can be kept. There is also a set of indicators next to each compartment, like some LEDs and vibrators. There is also an LCD screen and a keypad to make up the user interface of the device. We will now explain the working of the medicine. The patient, when visiting the doctor or physician, is supposed to take the medicine box alongside him or her. The doctor, after writing the prescriptions, gives it to the caretaker who then programs it. The job of the caretaker can be done by the doctor himself, the doctor's assistant, or maybe any literate friend or relative. All the caretaker has to do is keep one type of medication in one compartment and then use this keypad to punch in details like compartment number, timing of the alarm, number of pills should be taken, etc. That is, feed the medicines box with the medications and also the medication schedule. This schedule is kept track of by the medicine using, its, using the real-time clock programmed inside it. At the time of medication, a notification system is triggered which uses LEDs, buzzers and the user tag to notify the patient that the time has come to take the pills. The user tag the user tag is a small wearable device used to notify the patient. It is connected with the medicine box using an RF connection, basically a wireless connection. As you can see in this diagram, at the time of notification, the medicine box triggers the user tag using a wireless signal. Another functionality of medicine is a log of missed medication, basically a list of missed alarms. That is, if the patient fails to take the medication on time, that particular alarm is added to a list of missed alarms which can be viewed later by the patient or the caretaker and appropriate action can be taken. We will now move towards the hardware implementation of medicines. The medicines box. The major component of the medicines box is, T is a TIMSP430 FG4618 microcontroller unit which is the main controller of the device. There is also an LCD screen and a keypad to make up the user interface. A very major component of medicines um, the, the medicines box are the pill compartments with a set of indicators for each, like some LEDs and vibrators. There are some global indicators as well, uh, like uh, a main LED, a uh, Michelin LED, and a global buzzer to notify the patient. There is an MSV430 launch pad with a CC110L transceiver module attached with the medicines box to establish an RF connection with the user tag. The user tag also has a similar launch pad with a similar transceiver module to do the same. There is also a buzzer on the user tag to notify the patient at the time of alarm and the reset button to snooze the alarm. The software implementation. The microcontroller unit and the launch pads are coding using Energia and Code Composer Studio to support the following functions. 
At normal time, the real time clock is displayed on the LCD screen in the medicine switch box. All the other functions like setting alarm, deleting alarm, listing alarms, viewing alarms, editing alarms can be done by accessing these functions using the keypad. The notification system of medicines is an automatic function which is triggered at the time of medication, which I'll explain in the next slide. At the time of medication, the main, the main buzzer of the medicines box is turned on and only the indicators next to the specific compartment of which the pills are to be taken turn on. As you can see in this diagram, only the indicators, indicators next to this compartment turn on. This can be used by the patient to identify which compartment to take the pills from. The user tag is, the user tag is triggered using an RF signal by the medicines box to notify the patient. Here is where the simplicity of medicines lies. All the patient has to do is take pills from the compartment next to the glowing LED when notified by the wearable user tag. This assumes no literacy and no ability to read or write on behalf of the patient and results in efficient taking of medicines. Another feature of medicines is that opening that corresponding compartment will automatically turn off all the notifications as we have used a push button based, push button based sensor with every pill box. If for some time, if for a specific amount of time the, the pill box is not opened, that is the medication is not taken, medicines assume medicines uh, automatically turns off all notifications and adds that alarm to the list of missed alarms. As you can see in this diagram, I have the user tag and the medicine box at the time of notification. Only the indicator corresponding to one specific compartment are on and rest all are off. And these, la these launch pads maintain an RF connection between the two. This is the final implementation of medicine. This is the medicine box. These are the compartments. There is some extra space that we have kept to keep basic, uh, basic items of a first aid kit. These are the indicators corresponding to each compartment, the keypad, the LCD screen, the microcontroller unit and the MSC 430 launchpad and the puzzle. We also have the, uh, we also have the medicine user tag which has a launchpad, a puzzle and a transceiver module. Here I have two images of the LCD screen, LCD display at, at two different times. One it is displaying the real time clock and the other is displaying the number of dosages to be taken. Medicines boasts of some salient features. One, after the, at the time of notification, from the time of notification, at intervals of 15 minutes, the notification system is triggered. That is, notification occurs at intervals of 15 minutes. This process continues till one hour. After one hour, the notification stops and that particular alarm is added to the list of missed alarms. A facility to snooze alarm is offered via the user tag by using the reset button on the user tag. Pressing that button or, uh, temporarily turns off all the indicators. Medicines is capable of handling multiple notifications at a single time. The range of user tag is 100 meters theoretically. Some limitations. The size of user tag is, con is considerable as of now. But we argue that since we are using a complete launch pad to trigger a module, the size can be considerably reduced. The memory, the available memory of microcontroller unit is not, is not, is, is insufficient and hence there is a limit on the maximum number of alarms. Medicines is an easy to use device. As mentioned earlier, all, on, the, on the behalf of the patient, all he or she has to do is take the pills next to the, from next to the compartment, next to the glowing LED after being notified by the wearable user tag. The caretaker has a one type job which can be easily done. So, medicines has, medicine has does have a market in rural India. Being battery operated and having an efficient notification system makes medicines a must for, for that kind of setting and will help tackle the problem of medication on other ways. We have incorporated a, a vibrator next to each compartment box, but we hope that, by, uh, that in future, by using voice based assistance and braille inscriptions, we can make medicines much more usable for the different label as well. Assuming that the caretaker is technologically sound, mobile, mobile app integration and SMS based alert systems can help him keep track of the progress of the patient and help hence ensure good recovery of the patient. Thank you. I would like to thank this I would like to thank Texas Instruments for this wonderful opportunity and also my teammates for this awesome experience. Thank you.